The majority of the damage we're seeing is in ARB houses and power lines were brought down. Yeah, Candace Charles is joining us live from Old ARB where we have seen extensive damage. Candace, where are you right now and what are you seeing? Well, I'm off of West Judge Perez, and you were completely right, Eric, when you said that the school was closed, and you can see why. There's just so much damage in this neighborhood. We actually tried to go over to the school. We were not able to get into the neighborhood. They still have a lot of the neighborhoods blocked off here because you can see there's just so much damage. This car here completely uh, destroyed, it looks like. Windows blown out, a tree knocked over. I mean, we've seen the videos from tornadoes rolling through these neighborhoods neighborhoods here and the damage now you can only see so much of it because it also led to power outages out here it's just so dark I can't imagine how it's going to look um, at first daylight of course we'll be giving you a look of that but the little pieces that you can see little pieces of debris all over the floor here definitely if you are walking around in this neighborhood it's good to have some good shoes on and also just be wary of where you are walking there's a lot of uh, down power lines, like I said, and a lot of debris on the ground. So it's definitely best to just take your time when you're walking around in these neighborhoods. But you can see now that West Judge Perez is open. Traffic is flowing on both sides. Just recently opened up. Um, you, you see police rolling through here every once in a while. There are several different crews rolling through here. Intergy as well has been doing tirelessly work throughout this community, trying to get the power back up. But you know what? I know it's going to take some time here. I know there's a lot of uh, antsiness around all of this, but definitely patience is key. Definitely we are going to get this to this together you guys and we'll be here for you as always right here on air online and on social giving you the latest so stick with us but for now from Airbnb I'm Candace Charles I would news and and Candace as you were making your way out there I mean give us kind of your, your perspective of what you saw what you're seeing in that area I know you can't get too far but you know we know the damage was extensive in that area Interestingly enough, as soon as we kind of got to the Airbnb area, we knew that there was going to be quite a bit of damage because we were met by police that told us, you know, the neighborhoods were blocked off. Uh, we got maybe a block or two down West Judge Perez over here in Airbnb, and it started to look like things were brightening up. That's where the streets started to open up. But as you go around the corner towards the school, that neighborhood was blocked off as well. A lot of the folks aren't here. It's still very dark. Um, as we mentioned earlier today, most people have been sent to uh, the Val Reese uh, Sports Complex for shelter. I think a lot of people are finally leaving there, fortunately, but it's just completely quiet and decimated, unfortunately, in this area, you guys. And I assume no power out there either. Yeah, no power. It's really dark. Um, definitely a lot of power lines down in the street, and it's just it's just not, not visible, you know. Um, yeah there we've been using our lights just to walk around and see things and definitely like I said you had to have to walk around and make sure that you're looking where you yeah. walk because there's just so much stuff on the floor and it's really dark so right. definitely if you're going to be in this neighborhood take your time we'll definitely come through for first light to try to see some of this damage that's what I would advise for folks as well yeah and we'll see a lot more first light and, and uh, Sheba you recall uh, five years ago in 2017 in New Orleans East when that that uh, tornado hit, yeah. I mean, until the daylight, you didn't realize just how yeah, bad it was. Yeah, you didn't realize at all. I was on the desk then and went out to look at some of that damage, and it is different being out there, seeing it, oh, yeah. and once daylight hits, then you can actually see all of the damage. So this is what.